Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So the other day I did a picture in um, Tim Jeff's Birds PDF book, which if you'll know him from Intrica Inc, he does um, the grayscales. And we did this as a colour along and I used Derwent, um, yeah, Derwent um, pastel pencils. Now I'd never thought of using them on grayscale, however, um, it got me thinking that if you could produce something like that in Tim Jeff's work, then maybe we could produce it on something as, as gorgeous as Christine Karen's. This one in particular is called Seedling, <coughs> which I got off her Etsy, Etsy shop. I will link that down below. So I've been playing about and managed to produce this in about 10 minutes. So I thought we'd do it together. Just really, really simple um, skin tones with uh, Derwent. Let me just, I'm just trying to get the lid for you. With Derwent pastel pencils. Now, it doesn't have to be Derwent. It's just that I managed to get pick this gorgeous setup off of eBay really quite affordably. Um, but I'm sure that you could do this with... Um, we could try another later day. I'm sure you, you could do this with um, your pastel sticks like these ones. Scraping them off onto a palette and using a Q-tip or a cotton bud to get the same effect. Or even the paper tortillion. So, um, I selected um, saffron. Is that picking up? Saffron from this Derwent range to use as the skin tone and then I'm just using a paper tortillion cheap one that um, I acquired from Amazon so let's zoom in and get started and I'll show you just how quick and easy this is and it would really depend on just how much time you want to spend blending and getting the tones right but this saffron colour um, is a beautiful a beautiful beautiful skin tone so I'm just literally, lightly, I'm not pressing hard, I'm going to cover the entire of her face. Now I'll just do her face with you because I don't want this video to be a long, like hour long one. I just, I'm trying to catch up after the time away from YouTube and make sure that I'm still connecting with everyone. So I'm hoping that it will just be, just to show you just how quickly and how beautifully that these cover grayscale. And it was just some, I don't know why I picked them up the other day, I just fancied something quick and easy. And um, and did the Tim Jeffs one, because it was a new a new book I picked up. And um, then, so like, like I said, it got me thinking, well, if it covers Tim Jeffs work, which is very intricate, could we do, could we get the same results on grayscale from Christine Karen? And it would appear that yes, we can. So I've covered her entire face in how many seconds? I'm just going to blow the dust off. There she is. And I'm going to take my paper tortillion and I'm just going to smooth it out. I'm just going in circular motions very gently, just smoothing it out. Now, anybody can do this. Anybody. You don't there's not really any particular skill involved other than following the grayscale when you start shading. So this is why I wanted to share it with you. It's just such a beautiful medium. And for those of you a little bit scared or worried about blending or indeed colouring in grayscale, this may well be an answer for you. And of course pastels, if you scrape them off into a tray to use with a Q-tip, to do this or even with your paper tortillion you can mix the colours so okay there we are a flawless skin I mean it really is there's no smears no smudges just absolutely flawless in seconds so then the next colour I've chosen um, this is this pencil's a little bit blurry but it's called Venetian Red that's about as good as it's going to get the printing on it is like doubled up I'm sorry about that Okay, so Venetian Red. So I'm going to take the Venetian Red and I'm going to fill in 
and it looks hideous to start with but don't be scared about it because like I said before with these pastels you can rub them out so you can actually really have a whale of a time and not be scared of them so that's it that little bit there and then I'm going to take my paper tortillion and work her in work it in now looks really dark doesn't it that looks way too dark I'm just going to rub that bit off her hair do you see how easy it comes off so I'm going to go back with my saffron and I'm going to go over that because it looked too dark to me back in with my paper tortillion and work that in together easy look at that do you see there I've got a little bit on her hair but we've instantly got that shading so it really does depend just on how far you want to how much tone you want to put in how much definition so a little okay I'm so sorry about that yet again I hadn't deleted the footage on my camera and my memory, memory card was full. Um, so I haven't done any further, you haven't missed anything at all. I managed to grab it before I went any further. So all we'd done was put the Venetian red around her eyelid and we're now just going to work that in. And again, this might come up way too dark, but again, we'll blend it in with our original colour. So we'll take again our saffron, and it's actually not too bad round here, but we'll just turn it down a little bit above her eyebrow, uh, below her eyebrow, I do apologise. And there she is. Okay, <clears throat> we'll do the same, just checking you could see, round her little delicate chin here. I'm not particularly been too precise, look. And we'll work that in. Go back with my saffron. And tone down any areas that you're not happy with. I can't believe that I haven't worked with these more. I really can't. I'm over the moon with them. Okay, let's do her other eye. And then work that in. This is almost like a speed colouring without me f speeding up the film. I need a little bit under this eye too much we don't want to make her look old and haggard I'm gonna put a little bit more in there actually I toned it down but that's just me being finicky and fussing I just want to show you basically how quickly that this can be done right we're gonna put a tiny bit in a hairline just where Karen's indicated the shade and work that in. And there's just no fear in it, you know, it's just an absolutely, totally relaxing experience. There's no stress at all involved because you know if you've done something beautifully and you, you don't, you know, sometimes you, you can wreck an image with just one thing. Um, but if you if you've done something beautifully beautifully and then you mess it something else up another area you just rub it out um, so I intend to do a lot more with these I'm going to try it in different books see what results we get and not necessarily grayscale do you know what I'd love to try it in a Kirby's book is what I'm thinking I wonder if that how that would come out okay right just blow that off right she's looking a little insipid so the other color that I selected to give her some sort of to, to give this saffron color a more peachy tone is 
pale pink. So let me refocus. Thank you very much. And I'm going to join where I put in the um, Phoenician red. And I'm going to bring that down. So we're going to give her a bit of a pink cheekbone. There. She looks like she's been punched in the face at the moment. And we're going to just blend that in. Now I want that line there to be less harsh, so I'm going back in with saffron. I'm going to blend the two in. And then we'll do the same on the other eye, bringing that down in the shadow. Put a bit more in because the saffron's toned it back down again. We'll blend all that together. Just want to keep that cheek shape. Come to this eye. We'll blend that in. Right now. We've got to do her little nose. So we're back in with the Venetian red, and this is the only colours that I'm using. I just want to, it to be a really quick demonstration on here. I will finish the picture off so that it can go in this month's colouring pages, and I might have a bit of a play at adding more tones in then. But I just needed to share with you my excitement over just how wonderful this medium is and just how how much more they're capable of than just backgrounds right, we'll take the saffron back again too much of a harsh line there Not sure how long we're in. I don't. I'm, I can't see. My video doesn't tell me how many minutes I've been recording for. <laughs> but um, I'm sure it's not long. Okay. Now, if you've enjoyed watching this develop and you'd like to see more um, of a fuller demonstration on a full image just let me know in the comments and I'm more than willing I'll willingly put that together for you I'm gonna use the same pink pale pink and I'm gonna give her a pale pink base on her lips blend that in And then I'm going to take the um, Venetian red very carefully and outline the darker parts. And then I'm just going to pull it out with flicks. There. What are your thoughts, people? I think she is absolutely adorable. There is no pencil lines, there's no harsh um, blending, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, there's no harsh lines anywhere, she is just flawless, however, I would like my skin. Um, so I, I will continue to play with her, I'll do her eyes, but I'm going to do the whole medium in these pastel pencils, and I'll show you um, at... You'll get to see it in the um, end of the month colouring pages. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed it and you'd like to see a full um, image of Christine Karen's, I love her work, so it'd be really great to do that. Um, if you want to see that on camera as a full tutorial, let me know and I'll willingly put it together. So I'm going to let you go, guys. I just wanted to show you just how quick and easy this really is. 
So until next time, guys, take really good care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.